Astronomers have found that it is not how much galaxy, how much gas a galaxy has, but where that gas is located that determines whether new stars form. Using CSIRO's ASCAP radio telescope, researchers explored the gas distribution in about a thousand galaxies as part of the Wallaby survey. Lead author Siona Lee, a PhD student at the University of Western Australia node for the International Centre of Radio Astronomy Research, said the findings give new insights into how stars are born from gas. While earlier surveys could only map the gas distribution in a few hundred galaxies, the Wallaby survey has successfully mapped the atomic hydrogen gas in a significantly larger sample of galaxies. The survey revealed that having more gas in a galaxy does not automatically mean it will create more stars. Instead, galaxies that are forming stars usually have a higher concentration of gas in the areas where the stars reside. Senior Principal Research Fellow at ICRA, Professor Barbara Cantalina, who co-leads the Wallaby survey, said atomic hydrogen gas is the essential ingredient for making stars in the same way that flour is to make a cake. The research showed that being able to conduct more detailed radio observations is key to helping scientists understand how galaxies grow and change over time. The team looked at radio waves and visible light from nearby galaxies to determine the amount of gas in the parts of the galaxy where stars are being born. Daily science and space stories with an Aussie flair, plus a deep dive into the science or space headline of the week and the occasional science fiction podcast. We're pretty busy here at Trek Zone. Like, follow and subscribe for more. Membership available to help us do more, the trek.zone slash support. This is Trek Zone's Talking Science.